While it's quite simple to rename a directory using Windows Explorer, there may be a need to programmatically rename a directory. For example, you may be creating a setup and deployment project where you have to have a program that backs up the contents of a directory before installing an application, or you just may have a need in your application to have a program rename a directory. .NET has a class that allows you to programmatically rename a directory. The directory class in the SystemIO library contains a function called move that will rename a directory. The move function accepts two parameters, the source and the destination. The source is the directory to rename and the destination is the new name of the directory. This code will illustrate how to use the move function of a directory class to rename a directory. Note that this code is for demonstration purposes only and it's not using better application design processes such as exception handling and a better method to collect the values for the directory such as retrieving the values from the app config file or retrieving the values from user entry. This will be demonstrated as a console application using Visual Studio 2008. You will create a console application by selecting File, New, Project. Under Visual Basic, select Console Application. In this demonstration, I will name the project Rename Directory and I will create a directory for the solution. Now we have a module. You may rename the module or you can leave the name as Module 1. For demonstration purposes, I will rename the module to Rename Dir. In the first line in the program, make a reference to the System I.O. library by typing imports space system.io. In the application, define two string variables. The first string variable will represent the directory to be renamed. The second string variable will represent the new name of the directory. When you define the variables, assign values. The variable to represent the directory to be renamed must contain the name of a directory that exists on your machine. In this demonstration, I will create two string variables, str source and str target. str source will have the value of C bogus, which is a directory that exists on my machine. str target will have the value of C bogus backup, the new name. Make an instance of the directory class, since this is the class that contains the function to rename a directory. In this example, I will call the instance str to backup. Finally, call the move function. The first parameter should be the variable containing the directory to be renamed. The second parameter should be the variable containing the new name of the directory. After adding the line, compile and run the program. Voila! The renamed directory. This screen contains a few websites that may be helpful. The first site is the detailed document that I've written and published on ScriptD. The second site, moalimuscorner.blogspot.com, is my blog that contains tutorials and tips. The final site, www.mymoalimu.org, is my website that also contains tutorials and games. This is the end of the tutorial. Goodbye.